right, <clears throat> and welcome to another wonderful Sunday of 2096. We have two players with us today, both Patrick and Ryan. We'll playing, be playing their one-shot characters, which are now a two-shot or three-shot or whatever the fuck this is. I was uh, sick last week. If anyone missed us, I apologize. Uh, I'm still looking for players. Um, there will also be a new advisor at the beginning of this, so nobody gets offended by watching these. Because we wouldn't want to hurt somebody's feelings now, would we? <laughs> I don't care. All right, <clears throat> uh, let's start with uh, Patrick. Why don't you tell us a little about your uh, about your character you're going to be playing today? And uh, Kevin, the not so tall, not so big, very homeless guy who scavenged all his gear off of dead people so far, and uh, is a quest for vengeance of the person who killed all his friends by mistake. A previous character named Mortis. Ah, uh, yes, Mortis. Mortis. And Ryan, you're going to be playing Boldrick. Why don't you tell us a little about him? Boldrick is just, uh, as Patrick said, and also a small man, not too strong. He's a, he's a drug mule. Works for some big bosses and gets paid barely anything. Perfect. Good times right there, gentlemen. All right, let's get into uh, a little recap uh, of last, well, two weeks ago, I guess. We did another one shot with your two characters, and they started off in the city of Nomura, which is corporately controlled, surrounded by slums. Uh, basically, you started the game falling from the sky in a corporate lev. Uh, with Rubix, who yells at you guys, uh, you eventually crash <clears throat> and make your way through the slums, fighting off some corporate drones, getting to another lev, which Lyra uh, procured and was waiting for you guys on an anti-material rifle. There was some fighting, some shooting, some explosions, a bunch of people died, um, and you guys managed to eventually get away. Uh, Rubix... Definitely, uh, Rubix told you guys that, you know, you are no Mortis by any means, but whoever that was, maybe the guy you were looking for, coincidentally enough. Uh, and you guys headed to the City of Needless. Um, let's see, Rubix was wounded. He stayed in the vehicle as the two of you brought in the package and delivered it to none other than this little guy wearing a teddy bear backpack, Baby J. You took the, I'll just say container, the package, and gave you a vault card. Upon leaving the, the building, uh, you were intercepted by a couple of large guys who said Behringer wanted to see you. And that is where we ended, and that is where we start. <clears throat> uh, unless there's anything else you guys want to add about last game? Can we uh, reattach Patrick's finger? I don't think we've done that yet. Oh, your finger's still in your pocket, I believe. Wrapped up in a handkerchief, just getting stuffed down in the front pocket, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You are escorted out of the building by these two large gentlemen. Do you guys say, do anything? Uh, I try to ask them, why are we getting escorted out of here? What is the meaning of this? He looks over at you. I told you already, Behringer wants to see you. Who's bearing you? Yeah, exactly. He turns around. He pulls out a pistol. You're going to see Behringer. Or else... He doesn't... Or else... He is not able to finish his sentence when all of a sudden his head explodes. You hear a loud bang. His head is no longer there as he falls to the ground. Before his other companion can react... He also is dispatched. A shot hits him in the chest, throwing him 20 meters down the road as blood sprays in the air. Holy shit. You see Lara. I think Lara is awake. <clears throat> as she looks at you guys. I think we should probably go now, don't you? Yeah, no, absolutely. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on, we gotta get your finger back. All right. I assume you guys hop into the sedan. 
Yeah, well, let's go to the family sedan. All right. Where, you, where is my savior right now? You guys quickly jump into the sedan as Lyra takes off and heads towards the opposite side of the city. Uh, as you remember, our boy, <coughs> uh, Rubix, was hurt. He's in back. He still looks pretty bad, even though he's had some stims and stuff. He looks over at you guys. Did you get the vault card? Yes, sir. -y. I hand him the vault card. He takes the vault card, looks at it. <sighs> he sighs and puts it in his pocket. He pulls out two other vault cards, and he hands one to each of you. Here's what we discussed. Payment on completion. I would say you guys are definitely no mortis, but you didn't die and we got out of there, so that's a plus. I'll take it. i uh, got to give one to Lear, though, for uh, man and that goddamn anti-material rifle there. He's like, don't worry about her. I got her. He kind of taps on the side, right? And the sedan comes down to rest. The door is open, and he looks at you guys. Oh, this is where we part. Well, if you need us again, let us know. We're always looking for work, apparently. Indeed we are. He nods as the two of you leave the sedan. The Bye -bye. sedan lifts off and disappears in the night sky, leaving the two of you in Needless. With a vault card each. Uh, uh, Kevin, I think we should reattach your finger. It does not look too good. Yeah, we should probably get on that pretty fucking soon. And avoid uh, Behringer, whoever that is, because they're looking for us. Yeah, I don't know who that guy is. And he's probably going to be pissed that his cronies got their fucking heads blown off, but whatever. That's their problem. It is what it is. At least this time Mira didn't miss her shots. Thank fucking god. And I'm going to be checking my uh, vault guard to see how much is on the thing. All right. Sim over here. You both have 30,000. Thank God. I had 200 before we started this. No, that's pretty good. You broke, motherfucker, over here. Broke a sweat. I lost a finger. True. <clears throat> What's the medical scene like in uh, Needless Year? Uh, we will say you don't know since you've never been there before. You have a com term? Uh, yes. I have an upgraded com term because I have a helmet. I got, got it in there. Alright, so you can pull up all the information on Needless on the helmet. The area that they dropped you off in was sort of on the outskirts of the city, we'll say. Um... It was a, a abandoned parking lot. There were a couple of other vehicles there in various states of dilapidation. Um, but you, most of what you want is going to be towards the center of the city, which currently is probably about 10 to 15 blocks, we'll say, from where your location is. I guess we'll start heading that way. Uh, I'm going to advise Baldrick to uh, like to duct tape your vault card to you, man. There, there's probably a lot of pickpockets in the city. Uh, okay, but I, I don't have any tape on me. How do you have tape? Though? Put it in your boot or something. But, cross sure me. There's a lot of pickpockets around. Alright, I take off my boot, put the vault card right there, and put the book back on. Hide your vault card in your boot. Nobody's gonna find it if I can't find it. Give me one second over here. Let me pull this up. My vulture, please don't lose thirty thousand dollars, man. Don't worry, don't worry. I remember it. It's in my boot. Did you lace them bitches up at least? Of course I do. You go. You hit it the wall again with another clink. Sparks fly through the air. Um, oh my god. Ryan. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Baldrick, you take another huh? six points of health, I believe. 
from blood loss, you're bleeding out. Yes, sir. Ooh. And what would you like to do? Oh, I'm sorry, it's 10 points for that. You take 10 points of health. It's negative 6 for attributes, mm -hmm. 10 points for blood. Don't oh, die. Come on. Don't die. Oh no, hold on, let me do the math real quick. So it's 10. Oh my lord, I'm still alive. Miss this around. Alright, there we go. What are you doing? Um. <laughs> trying to, you know, stop the wound from bleeding too much. <clears throat> Alright, you're gonna be holding the wound. Yes, sir. Next turn, you will only lose five. I lose five. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Initiative. Please give me a night one. Please give me a night one. <laughs> nope. No. Oh my. <laughs> I hate this. I All right. hate this. I'm gonna, so... I'm gonna assume you're still holding your wound, correct? Yes, I so am. You can take I'm removing a, five points. You can take another five points of health as you continue to try to stop the blood loss. Or slow the blood loss. Oh. Uh, in which so case, he funny. fires at you. Not, Me? No, uh, at, uh, <laughs> at Kevin. He fires. As you try to hit him with a crowbar over and over again, he fires. He also misses, though, as he's trying to hit you. You both are scurrying around on the ground like rats trying to hit each other. Uh, your turn. Do something. Surrender! And I'm going to try to fucking hit him again. Give me your attacks. <laughs> give me oh luck. Lord. Give me luck for that. <laughs> Who made this crowbar? Excuse me. Give me a luck roll, please. Oh, I apologize no. for that comment. Well, this is gonna be a fast one shot. All right. That's terrible. You hit him. He scurries back. He fires. He misses. You try to swing again. He fires. You, you miss him again. And you almost fall onto the ground. Fortunately, you are able to stabilize it. Uh, unfortunately, you have lost your grip on the crowbar and it falls to the ground. Initiative. Don't you dare give me a net 12 again. Fucking hell. I swear, I swear to God. <laughs> what is this? Ryan. What is this game? Ryan, you take another five points. I assume you're going to continue to try to stop your bleeding. Yeah. Uh, just curious, what, have... what is your health right now? Six. Oh, so you got, okay. Perfect. Uh, I'll tell Kevin, hey, take your time. <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep. You're done. Uh, you see the punk, he's like, fuck you, man. His, like, saliva's drooling from his mouth and froth as he reloads his pistol and he fires into your torso. You take, uh, your, your torso armor is gone, correct? Uh, yes, it is gone. All right, you take 12 points of health then. And you now have a wound as well. <laughs> Uh, 12 points is a heavy wound. You're going to be losing 6 per round. You have a negative 4 for any attributes. Uh, oh, and I believe it's your turn. I'm going to try shooting with a fucking pistol. I can't find my drill marks and pull a pistol out. Like, you attacked me, motherfucker! Give me your attack rolls. Come on, come on, please, please, please. <laughs> yeah. Five, seven, seven. <clears throat> All right, you fire again as he continuously moves back. Initiative. Bum, 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 bum. Oh no! If I get a net twelve again, I swear to God. I, swear. Well, I didn't get a net one this time, so. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> All right, you see him. He fires again. Second. Eight. Torso. Three. Right arm. Oh, you take another 17 health. 
Your right arm. <laughs> your right arm takes two points of damage. Uh, yeah, that was, that was for you, Kevin. Two points of damage to the right arm. Yep, and what did I say for your torso? You took... I took 12. 12 points of health, I believe. Again. Which is another one. Gates to 12, and you miss. Which means well, it is Boldrick's turn. Boldrick, you lose. <laughs> What'd you say you were at? Six? Boldrick? I missed my shotgun. Boldrick. Did you lose him? I know the rule. Oh. Ryan, what's your health at? One. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I assume you're be a threat. I assume you're gonna be holding that wound. Of course, but of course. That means I think it's initiative, isn't it? Oh no. Please don't give me an at twelve. <clears throat> oh no. Please roll higher. Uh, you think I'm gonna roll higher? Yes, please. <laughs> nope. Well, thank no. you. Um, Baldrick goes night night. Baldrick, you prop yourself up against the wall, and suddenly everything goes black. You feel oh. faint, and you are no longer conscious. Take another. Uh, well, now you can't hold it, so take a, what, full 10 points of health, please? So you should be at negative oh what? My... Negative 9? No. Yes! Oh my god! Alright. <clears throat> Kevin, you're up. Can, can I take Bulger's weapon? Uh, you are currently engaged if you want to go over and pick up his... What are you, just, what are you picking up? His pistol? Alright, right, give me three attacks, please. I assume you're doing a burst. Yeah. Alright, give me a luck roll. What the fuck is with this once, man? Come on, please. This, this is some bullshit. Alright, your weapon jams. Your magazine has to be changed. Oh my god. You lose the entire mag. Oh no. Kevin, join me in Valhalla. <laughs> yeah, that's where we're both going, apparently. It's Come on, fun. we're gonna go up there. Oh, this, I don't even know. Uh, hold on, let's see. Come on. Just get hit. Alright, you get shot on, in your on. left leg. For ten points of damage. Oh my okay. god. That's, that's, that's with, that's accounting for the negative two. He actually hit you for twenty-one points. So... You have armor on that leg, right? I do. Alright, so negative two. Not much left now, but... <clears throat> you hear him start to laugh. And the laughing grows more and more intense. Your turn. You do, uh, again, I'm gonna try to shoot him. <laughs> after I reload, because after I reload, because... Actually, let's do it. Alright, make sure you take another, uh, let's see, six, 12 points of health, please. <clears throat> From blood loss. Oh, no. I'm still up, I'm still up. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Barely, but I'm still up. <gasps> Fucking barely! Jesus Christ! Can yes, I have that yes. damage for the 12, please? Oh, yes, please, please! Oh, six nine, nice. Fifteen points, double damage, blows through. Let's see, where did you hit him? Please be in the head. Please kill him. Come on, I want to live. We want to live. I got no med packs, though, dude. <laughs> loot the people. Loot them. All right. <clears throat> He's not down yet. You fire around. You see it blow through his leg as he cries out. Let's see what's his endurance. And he's still up. Initiative. What is your health, by the way? 
Uh, right now, I'm at uh, 23. Okay. Blood, <gasps> blood loss, you can take 12. You are going first, however. His laughing continues. Yeah. <laughs> fucking done, Nate. And I'm, I'm going to shoot him again. Oh, come on, please, please, Your please. attack rolls. Pop, pop, that 10 does hit. Give me damage. I'm, I'm, I'm out. Okay. <laughs> I'm unconscious. Oh. Uh. There in front of you, you see the punk. He throws his pistol and pulls out a blade. He props himself up and looks at you. As you go, <laughs> you aim your pistol. Suddenly everything around you starts to get dizzy. And the next thing you know, you black out. I'm giving him my finger on my way down. And fall to the ground. And right there, we're going to take a little break. Let's go. Because... Yeah. Uh, yeah. This can't be the end of Kevin the Mushroom Farmer. This can't be the end uh, of Baldwin the Drug Mule. Uh, I think a Mushroom Farmer and Drug Dealer are the best combination ever, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> they are pretty amazing. Uh, this is, yeah, this is a low level fight, too. You guys did better fighting a fucking Moker, I swear. I keep rolling. Fucking once, no constantly. Weapons. Like, I mean, I, did, I mean, if honestly, I had my twelve gauge, that motherfucker would have been gone. Oh, honestly, yeah. I did pretty well. Oh, you did fantastic, but I got a shitty ass pistol at the moment. I uh, just, just to let you know, I'm at negative nineteen, so yeah, no sweat. Hmm, it's gonna be interesting. What's gonna I, happen? I, I, don't know. I don't know. I'm passed out. You're both. Yeah. I'm at negative one. I mean, theoretically, you're both done. That's that. That's. I don't know. All right, we're gonna. We're yeah. Let's take a break. Get some water. Get some coffee. Whatever you need. A shot. And uh, we'll figure this out in a little bit. We'll be back in like a couple minutes. How about that?
Kevin. All right, well, we're back. We're going to, uh, it's already only six, so we're going to try to continue this somehow. I mean, you guys, yeah, once again, like I said, it, it, this game is almost better odds playing with more players. Um, but you guys, yeah, you guys rolled like shit. So you got fucked up by a couple of punks. I, I, I did pretty good. No, you did. You took them out until you ran out of ammo, and then, you know, all of a sudden it was a clusterfuck. Yeah, well, it was, it was, it is what happened. I have no more ammo. I'm dry like a cow. <clears throat> but I always have alternate stories and paths to do. So, here's what happens Ooh. as you guys are bleeding out all over the ground. Uh, I believe, Oldrick, you're pretty hurt. You're taking a lot of points per turn, right? Yeah, he's yeah. definitely worse off than me. Alright, so we're going to say you're out for a little bit. So we're going to say, yeah. here's what happens. <clears throat> Kevin, you start to come back to life. Everything kind of fades back into focus, and you hear something peculiar. Something that sounds like a cat's meow. As... Your senses come together and you come back to consciousness. You see in front of you the punk who's no longer laughing. Instead, he's got these interesting scratches across him. That looks like an animal chewed and clawed him to death. You look Holy next to you shit. to see an extended stem. You are currently at one health. Congratulations. <laughs> Your boots are no longer on. Oh no. That's Hold on. You put the boots back on? Yeah, put, I, I, before I put the boot back on, I look inside them to see if the vault card is there. Yeah, it's not there. I look at Kevin and I say, fuck, I lost it. God damn it. Well, let's take these fuckers' vehicle and get the fuck out of here. Uh, I put on my boots, do my little touch. I'm going to grab the shotgun from the fucking downed guy. Okay. I'm going to go and look for your finger. <laughs> oh yeah, I forget about that. <clears throat> Alright, I need perception checks from both of you. <clears throat> Alright. Wendy, what come are you on, come on, let me roll good for one, god damn it. Come on, come on, give me good, give me good, give me good. <laughs> no. What am I rolling? Is it one? Uh... Oh my <laughs> goodness. You gotta be kidding me, man. <laughs> You can't find this. This is some bullshit. You can't find his finger. His finger is nowhere Man, to be seen. Fuck it, I'll get a robot one later, shit. Ah, oh, this is bad. Wait. Okay, okay, my endurance is a bit bad. Alright, my endurance is a nine. Okay, finally. Hell cool. yeah. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Boldrick. Yeah. As you try picking up one of the guys, you get a sliver. A splinter oh. hits your finger. It's right, right under the fingernail, and it hurts. You take, owie, owie, you, you take hurt. half a point of health. Ah, that sucks. Oh, I'm still alive. You suddenly hear noise down the street as you hear the familiar sound of a baseball bat scraping along the floor. And oh, you hear no. voices. You see probably about seven to eight punks walking towards you. Um, give me intelligence oh. checks for you guys. Let's see. I know you guys are really smart, not. <clears throat> Well, I'm, I'm actually, I'm a, oh, my, I'm a five. That's not good. I'm stupid. Okay, you guys know there are figures coming towards you. You know you probably shouldn't stick around. You know you're at a half a health. If you get another splinter or a sliver or stub your toe, you're going to die. 
you should probably get out of there while you can. You have only a few mm -hmm. moments to grab a couple of items. What are you grabbing? Uh, I'm uh, grabbing the shotgun. I'm grabbing a vault card. You search the punk and find a vault card. Give me a uh, luck check. Alright. Natural 12. Natural 12. Come on, we need it. Come on, alright. Plus 4. Right, you need it, you broke motherfucker. Come on, come on. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I pictured it. I just forgot to actually tell you guys. Yes, it's a convertible. There is no top, no window. All the windows are down. It's got a windscreen. That's it. Uh. This is not like the fancy sedans you were in earlier. This is, it, it, it might even run off of gas. You're not sure. But it is a POS. Uh, you do not have a key. You do not find a vault card or ignition button. Uh, and there is wait, wait. no top. With Kevin's intelligence of nine, can you try to rig the car to blow up? No, jump start it. Uh, give me an intelligence check. Oh, no. Most definitely not. Fuck. Do you have, do you have uh, any explosives on you? No. Okay, then you're going to guess no. Know. You thought about it. You pulled an anon right there, by the way. You're like, huh, maybe I can make this vehicle explode, not knowing anything about it. Uh, as you're sitting there, they are getting closer. What do you guys do? Fuck. Bro, let's get the fuck out of here and run. We can't get this thing started. Run, run! Gonna uh, run in the direction or solve the weird cat thing. All right, which is back down the alleyway. Yeah. All right. The thugs. Oh, away from the thugs. Uh, the alleyway is kind of positioned back towards the direction that they're coming, so you're gonna have to go towards them yeah. and then dip set down the alleyway if you'd like to do that. Yeah. Let's not do it's that. If there's nowhere else to flee to. Well, there's, it's a city. There's streets and alleyways and buildings and stuff all over the place. I, I just want to run the opposite direction of the thugs. Very well. Give me a speed check, boys. <clears throat> all right. Uh, as, as we're doing that, can I do some? Can I do a phone call? Oh, sure. You got a com. Do you have a com term? Yes, I do. Okay. Who would you like to call? I would like to call uh, Matrix, uh, the guy that we were with, that uh, we said goodbye to. <laughs> okay. You attempt to call bring, him. Bring. You get no answer. Shit. <laughs> well, I tried. As you guys run, uh -huh. you got a choice, right? Straight or left? Uh, do we know what's ahead of us? Or... Right, straight or left? Left. Left. All right, left, left it is. Uh, left is going across the street from where you're at. <clears throat> you got to think of that the car pulled out of an alleyway. So you're running away. Mm. So the sidewalk you're on, we'll say, it's a sidewalk, is on your right. So you can go right, which is turning down towards the building. Building. You can continue straight across the intersection. Think about it, you can't do an intersection. So you can go right, you can continue straight, or you can take a left and run across the street in that direction. Let's go across the street. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so you guys are rolling left. Perception checks, please. Oh, no. Come on, I got good eyes. Not I so good. good eyes. I hope so, because I apparently don't. I got good eyes. I can see my toes. All right. I'm still woozy. <laughs> Kevin is in front. He quickly grabs you, Baldrick and turns you to the left as you run out and dash into the intersection. Boldrick, there is a vehicle coming that Kevin failed to spot. Give me a speed check to see if you can stop him in time. Habibi, I will save you. Oh, my head hurts. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right. Oh. Suddenly, Kevin, you are grabbed. Boldrick grabs you as a vehicle narrowly misses you by probably like five centimeters, five, ten centimeters. You go back, and just this rush of metal goes by you. Oh, fuck. I scream, run, I tell. All right, you guys I continue. I follow his instruction. Across the street, 
with no further vehicles uh, hitting you, and take off. Running, running, and running. There, you're coming to an area that looks like an open market. Uh, it's unclear whether you are being followed as there are kind of people now spread about the area, uh, vendors and whatnot. Uh, where would you like to go? Would you like to continue down the street? Would you like to disappear into the market? I disappear into the market. Same over here. Evan wants to do. All right. <clears throat> you guys head off and disappear into the market, surrounded by vendors and people of needless. I tell and, Patrick, I, I, I tell Kevin to come here. Kevin, Kevin, come here, come here. So, what's up, man? Okay, look, do you, do you have any... Uh, I, I do still have my vault card, right? You do not. I do not? You do not. No, I'm just as broken as you right now, which sucks, because I have no ammo and no weapon. Shit, same over here. Fuck. Alright, look, look, look. Uh, I know this guy. He, he's, he works in the black market. Uh, I don't know. He's an old guy of mine, okay? I used to work with him. Used to do some deliveries. I'll go, we'll, we'll go to him. I, th I think he works here now. You don't we'll owe him money, do you? I, I don't own him money. Well, I'm, I think so. I don't. I, I don't remember correctly. I can't but, tell me money. Okay. Look, he's our best chance. Look around us. Do we have anything else? I'm used to being homeless, man. I could do this. You could do this. We're almost at the verge of death. Uh, fuck you, I mean, right? We got holes in us. That's your voice. Fuck it. You know what? I'll follow your lead. You know what, guy? Let's go to the guy. All right. Could we could we head over there, please? Where exactly are you heading? Uh, to some uh, uh to some pl shitty part of town. You know, uh, where I suppose the the guy that I used to work for is. Um, cause needless is pretty much all just one big shitty part of town. Oh, we'll say. Um, also, let me see. You so you're using some of your backstory for this, your drug mule. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. So give me an intelligence check. Let's let's do that. <clears throat> please, please, I beg of you. Because if you would recall, you started the game in the city of Nemora. So. Yeah. I don't know if you oh, would have any context. All right. Uh, oh no. You realize that you don't. You are not in the city that you're used to. That your connections, unless you have. Uh, do you have any of the skill sets for like area connections and stuff? I have, I have traveled. Is that does that kind of that work for travel? Uh, that'll give you a, a general idea of like the location you're in. It's not going to help you for the connections in the location, but you... Uh, does Black Market smell work, or no? It does what, that? Black Market. Uh, yeah, we'll say Black Market Connections does work, if you have that. Whoa. Well... <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Uh... You head off uh, towards an area that you think some Black Market connections would be. Second to look. So hope you know what you're doing, Baltic. Don't worry. Unless you want to get our heads cut off, this is the only option. Oh, we almost just fucking did. Jesus Christ. That's that, or we go back there and get ourselves fucked in the ass. No, no, I'm following you. I'm good. Ass fucking doesn't sound good to me. Second. They basically laugh, say they remember you, and say, and step aside so that you can enter. All right, let's head in. Yeah, I'm gonna follow his lead in. All right. All right, you guys enter a warehouse. One second. Where'd it go? 
I just lost roll 20. Give me a second. Anyways, all right. You guys enter the warehouse. Uh, on your right and left are different tables with people around them, different wares. There's containers and shipping crates. Uh, as you walk in to the building, uh, all around you, you're surrounded by guys with augmentations and heavy weaponry. Suck. What's up, Cloud? You brought to say through their baldwit? And don't worry, I'm not, you know, not famous around here. Yeah, at least we ain't got no money from them, Kate. Okay? And don't worry, as long as you don't piss them off, they'll stay by your side. Come on, piss people off is like my specialty, eh? Baldwin. Trust me. <clears throat> you eventually yep. see somebody you recognized. A man, the man that you're looking for. Standing around a table looking at some heavy weaponry with a couple of people in very nice tech suits. They look to be corporate, perhaps. Shit. Get right, what's up? up? They're corpse. Well, well, what about them? Well, don't you remember the drone from last time? I think oh, they've remembered. I don't know if we're going to be associated with it. Didn't you just bring us into, like, a drug den? Yeah. Well, this is the only option that we have right now. All right, look, look. I'm, I'm going to go there. If anything goes south, you you book for it. All right? If you're willing to sacrifice yourself, I'm not going to complain. All right. Uh, I walk up uh, to the guy and... Uh, Tell, uh, say his name. I'm like, hey, it's me, Baldrick. All right. <clears throat> As you walk up, uh, before you can even open your mouth, two large men in trench coats step in front of you. Their eyes glowing green. One of them holds their hand up as you walk into it. It's like walking into a wall. He doesn't say anything, Ooh. but he looks at you and keeps his hand Hi. held up. Hi, it's me, Baldrick. Uh... You remember me? I'm, I would like to talk to my boss. He holds his finger up. Kind of moves his trench coat. Or opens his trench coat so you can see a very large rifle. Look, I, I don't want no trouble. I start back away. I just want to talk to my boss. He shuts his trench coat and puts his arms back to the side. The boss, the guy that you were trying to talk to, uh, doesn't look up from what he's doing. And he continues to talk to the corporate... Uh, they will call them executives. The corporate agents, executives, we'll call them executives. The corporate executives. Uh, and you're left standing there for a few more minutes. Do you try to do anything? Uh, but I'll try and wait until he's done so I can talk to him. Okay. <clears throat> you figure it is in your best interest to wait. A couple of minutes go by, and finally you see the two in the corporate tech suits walk out followed by the two very larger augmented trench coated figures with glowing eyes they leave the building and your boss is still standing by the table looking through a couple of containers he has not noticed I, I woke, you I woke up to him like hey boss it's it's me Baldrick remember me uh, give me a charisma check well this is going to be good As long as I don't get a nat one, I should live. Nice. He looks at you, looks up and down, looks kind of towards the door. Who are you? How are, why are you in here? You got money to spend? And then he no, looks, that, that, looks back and he kind of laughs. He's like, you don't have any money. You look like shit. Who the fuck are you? What do you want? Look, it, it's me, Bob. I, I used to work for you. He you know, picks, you know, picks up a rifle, button. and he kind of cocks it. You work for me? What did you do? You shine my shoes? I, I, used, I used to move out uh, products from you. Looks at you curiously. Huh. Puts that rifle down, picks up another one. 
You did, huh? How long did you work for me for? For about as long as I worked for, so probably about when I was a kid, so 10 years. Ah. He says, looking at the rifle, I think I do remember you. What can I do for you? Look, um, if, if you could patch us up, we, we could do like a big job for you. Like, we, we're not doing too well. I don't give out to charities, buddy. Hey, man, you have my word. I used to work for you. If there is, if, if you, you can trust me. A lot of people used to work for me. Indeed. You don't well, see well, me this giving... this guy's still alive. Who the fuck are you? He says. I'm a mushroom farmer. He looks at you, <laughs> he kind of chuckles and then stops. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, and I pull out a bag of mushrooms, like, I've got some good shrooms here if you want some, man. Oh, we can trade you those shrooms if you can help us out. He kind of looks over and snaps his fingers, and you see a woman bring over a briefcase. So you're a mushroom farmer, huh? Then tell me all about Otherwise. these. They open up the suitcase, or the briefcase, and there are some mushrooms. A kind of smoke kind of bellows off the sides of the case, and you see these black kind of ribbed mushrooms. Tell me about them. Ooh, nice. And uh, I'm going to inspect them, see if I can identify them. All right, give me an intelligence check. Uh, since we're going to say you are a mushroom farmer, I was going to tell you this. You have, uh, I don't know, we'll give you a skill. You get a plus four. Holy shit, because my intelligence is nine. Come on, I believe in you. I believe in you. I got us this far. Let's go, let's go. You recognize the, the two bald, up-looking mushrooms as black truffles. Oh, yes, these are black truffles, and uh, they're in great condition, actually. Very fine mushrooms and have this, sir. Well done. Hmm. He kind of says, they are in fact black truffles. Tell me, how would you best prepare these? Well, you don't want to dry them out like uh, is normal with the average mushrooms because, well, you just lose all the flavor that way. I would prepare them with a dish while they're still as fresh as possible and moist. Hmm. He kind of says, he snaps his fingers. And she closes the briefcase and walks away. It seems like you th know a thing or two about mushrooms. What do you have? Let me see. What mushrooms do you have? I just have some basic dried mushrooms. Nothing as fancy as your black truffle over there, but I can grill the hell out of them. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. I may know where some of these black truffles are. Or at least in the general area. I don't know exactly where they are. Because they're mixed in with a lot of other varieties which you could say, well, we don't want to touch. But an expert would be able to go and procure these truffles for me. If you do that, Fantastic idea. I'll obviously pay you. And a matter of fact, you guys look in rough shape. I'm not going to lie. We'll get you fixed up before you go out. Give you some ammo, whatever you need. But if you don't bring back black truffles, then we're going to have a big problem. Don't worry, boss. You, you have our word. Hey, my, my man here says he can trust you, so I think I can trust you as well. <laughs> Just because you can trust me doesn't mean I'm going to trust you. Fair Either enough. of you. Because you both look like shit, you smell like shit, and I don't even know how the fuck they let you in here. Well, I'm a fantastic mushroom farmer. Well, we'll see now, won't we? We'll see. He snaps his fingers at another guy. Get these two fucking cleaned up a little bit. And then have them meet me in the office. I got a little job for him to do. Sure thing, boss. And the boss leaves. 
you there in the man's capable hands. Right. And I think maybe we'll stop right there. Oh, it's a little short, but I gotta get the truffle right. run ready. Give him a high five, Bob. Like, fucking job, man. Yeah, high five, my bro. Let's go. We're gonna live. Uh, good thing I remembered I'm a drug mule. Well, the fact that you had black market was definitely a big help, too, you know? You would have been screwed if yeah, you didn't have that. I mean, it goes well with drug mule. Uh... It does. So, you know, it all matches together. And the mushrooms match, uh, and you guys aren't dead yet, thanks to a certain cat, which you'll find out. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, see, you make a story out of nothing. Yeah. Yeah, can I owe that cat big time when we find it? <laughs> well, yeah. she, already, she already took 60000 from you, asshole, so. Yeah, who's that? Mm. Hey, she that's, took, uh, that's the she price. She took 100000 from me. But we're not dead. True. <clears throat> exactly. That's the price of, uh, you know what the price of real life is in this game? A couple million, so you guys got out. Good. Or did you? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, we're in somebody's debt. Uh, that's Ooh, the more best. than those whose debt we're in, but uh, heaven did not. At least not yet. You will, though. You will. Uh, yeah, I like that. We're going to call it the truffle run. There you go. Nothing yeah. like uh, retrieving exotic and unique materials in the game, which is half of what I feel like this game is. So. I, I mean, I got us out of a pickle, so good job on me, I guess. You did. Uh, we'll leave it as uh, he pretty much gets you guys to full health. Gives right. you both a couple of magazines for your weapons. Even gives you a couple of uh, protein bars and worm water. Thanks. Am I able to procure a 12 gauge? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're at a black market. <clears throat> you will be owing him, though. Obviously, the price of that, so. That's fine, that's fine. You can do that with a couple of shells, if you'd like, whatever. Uh, and then whatever that cost is, just, we'll say you, we'll, well, I'll write it down. I own him a not specified amount of money, just saying. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. We'll see. I knew it. <laughs> hey, look, I ran away, bro. Look, I was paid almost nothing. Oh, this is gonna be good. I love it when these games come together. Oh, Lord, have mercy. All right. Next week we'll continue the truffle run, as you guys have successfully not died. Well, I mean, you died, so it really wasn't like a one and a half shot we did with these characters. Yeah. But you're still alive from the miracles of science. Indeed we are. Uh, it's a little short, but uh, like I said, I want to try to get some maps and some other writing and stuff done. Uh, <clears throat> did you guys enjoy this little session? Yes, we. Di I did. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's, uh, hopefully we get a couple more players at some point so we can continue these escapades. Yeah. Uh, I will uh, I'll talk to you guys later this week. And All right. We will continue I'll be around. Story. That's for sure. All right. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Until next time. Until next time. Bye-bye.